Hey everybody, Chaos Actual here. Um, this is uh, Frugal Prepping Recipe 1. Um, I apparently just recorded a whole segment that was five minutes long and uh, apparently the camera button didn't get pressed. So I've got to redo this whole thing again. But hey, it was a really good segment, so it's, it shouldn't be too hard to do. Okay, so the whole point of this whole thing is just, you know, we can go buy a Sonic Breakfast Breed or whatever, five bucks or something like that. You know, we're talking about it's it's, it's two to th two to six dollars per person for a big, good, hearty breakfast. And so the whole point of this is to have a big, good, hearty breakfast or hearty meal for pennies. Or not pennies, but you know, 20 years ago it would have been pennies. So the goal is to keep this between a dollar and two dollars per person per meal. So family of four is what I'm kind of going for. Um, this is broken down per person, so per burrito. So for for four per, four people, it's going to be. Um, and it should be about the whole week, uh, week's worth of burritos. So, so I'm going for 24 burritos, and it breaks down to roughly 94 cents a burrito. So we'll go over the, um, and, and like I said, why I'm doing this is because we've, we've forgotten how to, how, to, how to do meal prep. Yeah, we're doing like fancy chicken and rice for the fitness people, blah, 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 blah. But I'm talking everyday people. It's just more convenient to grab a, fr what, a freezer lasagna, a pot pie, or whatever. But, you know, I was talking, it's it's when your store is 10 miles away, and you're you're riding in a, you know, uh, Model T or some of the later models, it's still, you, you wanted to have this stuff kind of on hand. And, you know, they had, they traded with their other farmers, etc. but, you know, we've kind of forgotten what we're doing. So that's why I'm going through all this. Not only that, because I, I think we're still going to have hard times ahead. I don't think we're out of the woods yet, and I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. So you're looking at it between a year and a year and a half of it getting worse before it getting better. So during the lockdown, like, um, I noticed, I, I took my video camera out and I, I basically made a mental note and I video recorded the things that went first and then the things that went second. And then what really surprised me was the, the easy to make meals were wiped and the frozen potatoes were wiped. It's like we, do, we don't know how to make hash browns anymore or fries. You know what I mean? Like potatoes are dirt cheap. A bag of potatoes compared to what you could make them for, the hash browns, etc. You're, t you're getting charged three or four times more. And like we were talking about with uh, my last video, with when you go out to eat, it, minimum, you're, you're spending, for a family of four, you're, you're 20 bucks and up. And that's at fast food. Even ordering up the dollar menu, you're still going to get up there. Plus the drinks, plus blah, 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 blah. If you go to a restaurant, you're 30 and up. I, I mean, hell, I've had bar tabs that were over $300. So we're trying to live frugally and, and we're trying to prepare frugally. And there's going to be more segments. But here's, here's what I'm doing for breakfast burritos. So my goal is 24 breakfast burritos or... If I had some plastic things and I could cover them up, I could do like a breakfast bowl thing or a breakfast skillet that's already cooked. You, you just thaw it and heat it up. So it's going to be, for 24 burritos, I'm hoping, I might only make be able to make 18 or something like that, but two pounds of sausage on sale for seven bucks for two pounds. One pound of bacon on sale, through three ninety nine, so four bucks. One large white onion, 64 cents, because it's about a pound. Uh, 24 eggs on sale, about a dollar fifty. Two pounds of potatoes, well, it's my potatoes, but normally be about a buck fifty to maybe two bucks. Uh, I'm using Tang as a drink. This is a lovely peach mango flavor because it's dirt cheap and it stores well. Yeah, it's not the greatest thing for you, but that was eight cents a serving, so it was dollar ninety nine for the whole thing. Two packages of tortillas, three dollars fifty cents. One pound of cheddar cheese was five bucks. So it was forty nine, so we'll call it five. So that turn comes out to ninety four cents per burrito. Now I'm going to add like four cans of the small green chilies. <clears throat> that adds an extra two dollars, so you know, not much. It's just spreading it out across 24 burritos. So the total cost to me today was $22.72, right? So what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this is, uh, well, and let me back up. When I was still, when I was going through the stores, all my local stores, what I still saw on the shelves a little bit or, or sparsely was uh, tortillas came in sparsely. Um, they always had one or two pounds of sausage where you could find it in either one. Uh, bacon went out, was gone. So you could substitute that with more eggs. They had eggs, so it was, you know, if you bought them once a week, I think they limited you to two cartons. Um, and even if it's one, well, buy one and come back, go back to the cart and come back in. Um, potatoes, they went away for a while, but then the, the new shipment came in. So we're at the end of harvest season, but we didn't have a great harvest because of the, this early freeze. So we'll see what happens, plus all the other crap that's going on. And cheddar cheese was, it, it really pretty much stayed there the whole time. Um, I did notice that. So. And like I said, tortillas came in eventually. So what I'm going to do for cooking this is, uh, and like I said, if you have a freezer, most of the stuff stores well. You can freeze tortillas. They come out, they're just a, a little harder to fold. Um, potatoes, you can cook them and freeze them. Onions, same thing, cook them the way you want them or how you're going to use them. They're diced or sliced or however you're going to use them. 
just cook them down, freeze them in, in cheap storage bags or whatever in the freezer. At least you got them. It should be good for about six months. Um, eggs, you can water glass them or you buy dehydrated egg powder. It's $18 or something on Augustine Farms. It, it, it's there now, but uh, and this is November 2020. I just bought two cans. We'll see how they stay. Um, yeah. So, and you can also substitute the tank for the frozen juice concentrate, the, you know, the frozen little cans. And they were on sale today too. So, I got, uh, I'm going to cook the sausage with uh, my version of Montreal steak. Basically, it's going to be red pepper flakes, black pepper. Um, I'm going to roast some cumin seeds and, and grind those up. Um, and then I'm going to do um, rub sage, some salt, and maybe some chili powder. I'm going to mix all that in with the sausage and cook that separately. Uh, and then separate to that, I'm going to cut up the onion and cook it with a, with a diced bacon. Because it's, it's going to be a pound of bacon. So I'm going to cook it all together at once. <clears throat> and the onion's going to soak up a lot of that ba bacon flavor. Um, and then I'll cook, I might cook the eggs in the same pan. I haven't decided yet because I still want to keep all that flavor. You want all that, you, you, you know, a lot of people just cook this, you get this beautiful flavor at the bottom and they just scrape it off and throw it away. I'm like, no, 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 make a little sauce out of that. Make a, a little jus out of that and, and, and just make the most incredible flavor. Um, so that's what, so that's how I do my biscuits and gravy too. I, the, the trick is to use your, to make your gravy out of the pan you use the sausage in. I, some, a lot of times I'll just keep sausage in there because I'm lazy. I don't want to take it out and dirty a dish. So I'll just um, mix my milk and my, my flour and just make it right there in the pan. And that keeps all that flavor in there. So it, when we're doing these recipes, I want you to, we're, we're talking about flavor. We're doing cheap, but, but really tasty and flavorful so the whole family can love it, okay? So it's, that's all broken down. Uh, I'm gonna cook, yeah. So then I'll, I'm, what the potatoes I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make home fries out of them and fry them. Um, I'm, you know, just vegetable oil in there and just fry up the potatoes and then I'll have them all separate, lay down the cheddar cheese and the tortilla, lay down the other ingredients, make sure they're evenly spread out because I hate getting to the bottom of a burrito and it's just like nothing. So, and then we'll wrap it up, wrap it up in freezer paper and throw it in the freezer. And if you haven't gotten a freezer, uh, get one now. Uh, it's about 125 bucks. And one thing, you know, I think I've said this before, but Jordan Peterson said, and I'm, I'm really is hitting home right now, he said, food is basically free right now. I mean, the 24 breakfast burritos for 20 bucks or 22 bucks, like we just got to put in the work. But I mean, like I said, how much are we spending if you go out? You know, the, the hash browns, fried eggs, and, and four strips of bacon, it's not even a dollar, but you would get charged five bucks for it. Like, you see what I'm saying? And I know I want to support the small businesses, but... I just, if we're, if we're coming to, to famine, if we're coming to having to really tighten our belt, I, I got to do what's best for my family, and I, and I hope you guys do too. So this is what I'm going to be doing. And this doesn't, you, you can do this on a Saturday or a Sunday morning and just put them all together and put them in the freezer, you're done, you head to work, you just throw it in the microwave. I think it's going to be about a minute, 30, or maybe two minutes in the microwave. And now you have a beautiful, tasty, homemade burrito that's a hearty breakfast, and that'll keep you going strong way until lunch. Uh, and with that... We'll move on to the next one. Hopefully I remember to press the record button this time. We'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, make sure you share and subscribe. That's the only way I can get this channel to grow. And uh, I'm going to be doing more stuff, stuff as well. But, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.